Let's talk about AND operator. This operator is very important and it can be used to combine multiple conditions. And resulting documents must match all conditions. AND operator requires an array, array of conditions separated by comma. And each condition, of course, must be embedded into curly braces. Let's look at an example. In the first example, we are looking for persons that are male and that are 25 years old. You see both conditions in curly braces separated by comma and embedded into the array. So AND requires an array. In the second example, we are looking for persons with an age greater than or equal 20, but not equal to 25. It means that age must be in two ranges, from 20 to 24, and from 26 and more. And very important notice. If you want to query by same field, like in this example, or same operator, you must use AND operator. And this AND operator is called in this case EXPLICIT AND. What I mean here? Let's look at an example. Let's look at both queries. Both of them use two conditions. Two same conditions. In the first case, we use EXPLICIT AND using AND operator. In the second case, we use implicit AND, represented by comma between two conditions. But even if both conditions in this case are same, results of those queries will be different. In the second case, we will just query documents with an age greater than or equal 20. First condition, age not equal 25, will be omitted. It means that in second query, first condition age not equal to 25 will be overwritten by second condition age greater than or equal 20. Let's go to the MongoDB shell and look at this AND operator in practice. First, let's find all persons with a gender female and favorite fruit banana. And let's start. In this example, I will not use double quotes in operators and field names. So just omit double quotes. Then colon, then comes an array. Array of conditions. So here will be first condition, comma, and second condition. So first condition will be gender, colon, female. In the second condition, we put favorite fruit, colon, banana. Let's execute it. And here is the result. So first document will remain in place. All other documents will also have gender female and favorite fruit banana. We can switch to table view and look at this here as well. So gender female, favorite fruit banana. Let's go back to text view. Let's count number of such kind of documents. Count, command enter, 173. But you may say that we can use same query with implicit AND, without AND operator. And I will agree with you, let's try this. So just remove AND here, leave gender female, then delete this curly brace, then comma, delete this curly brace, delete this one and this one. So just two conditions separated by comma. Let's execute this query and count number of matching documents. Command enter. And result is the same, 173 documents. It means if you query by fields with different names, you can use either implicit AND, like in this example, or explicit AND using AND operator. Okay, let's delete count here. Let's delete this query and execute default query. Okay, let's now create a query by same field name, age for example. 
And let's use explicit AND operator. Ok, let's start AND, then an array with two conditions, first condition, comma, second condition. In the first condition, we are looking for age that is not equal. We need to use again pair of curly braces. Not equal column 25. In the second condition, we are looking for ages again curly braces greater than or equal 25. Okay? What we should get in the results? We should get persons with an age that is not equal to 25 and greater than or equal 25. It means that ages will start from 26. Let's add sort method here. So sort by age. Age colon 1. So sort by age field with increasing values. And execute it. And here it is. So first document has age 26 as we have expected. And let's count number of such kind of documents. Count, command enter. 692. Remember this counter. Ok, let's delete count. And let's change this explicit end to implicit end. As we have done in previous example. Just delete this part. Delete. Delete this curly brace, delete this curly brace, and delete this part. Oh, one more curly brace here. Ok, so first condition, then implicit comma, and second condition. And again, sort by age. Command enter. And here, in the results, you will see that documents start from age 25. It means that this condition doesn't work. Let's change places of those two conditions. So, like this. And execute this query. In the results, we will see documents with an age not equal to 25. In this case, this condition doesn't work. Ok, let's go back to previous order. And add count. Command enter. 742. You see that with implicit end you are getting more results than with explicit end. So conclusion is following. You cannot use implicit end when querying by the fields with same names. You must use explicit end. Ok, let's make a pause and go on with an OR operator. Bye.